Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as promised, I'm doing a pack with me makeup edition for New York. I am going tomorrow, so I'm getting this video filmed and up by today. Today is Friday. So, if you've seen my last one, that was when I was going to Paris. I've still got the same makeup bag that I travel with. This one is from Cafe Kidston. It is really handy. I'm not too keen on the print, it's not my favourite but it holds everything that I need to and it is just great for traveling. Um, I believe they do have so many different prints now because they've came out with more. So definitely check out Kath Kidston for travel makeup bags if you are taking quite a lot or if you're looking for one. So just like the other um, pack with me video that I filmed for Paris, this comes with two compartments. It has one up here, if I just show you, you can see there. And then one small one here like that and then another one that fits under here so it does hold quite a lot because it has three compartments and then I may show it I may not but this is the bag I'm going to take when I'm traveling on the plane I'm just going to bring some little touch-up makeup items in here this is a Mac bag that I got for free um, not too long ago I bought something and they gave it for free and it's got a little strobe cream in there as well um, so I'm just going to leave that in there and I may show that I'm going to pack that, I may not. So I'm going to move this out of the way and then I'm going to get started on this compartment here I think and in this one I'm going to put primers, um, mainly my face products and then in the one at the top there I'm going to be putting more like lips and eyes and So for like primers that. I'm going to be taking two, I'm taking the MAC Prep and Prime, uh, if I focus it, MAC Prep and Prime Primer in Natural Radiance, um, this one is in Radiance Yellow, is it called Radiance Yellow? Yeah, radiant yellow, sorry. So I'm taking one of those and then I'm also taking this tiny little baby um, Benefit Professional Primer to try it out because I still haven't tried the full size of that. So I'm taking that. And then as for foundations, I'm going to be taking quite a few just because I like to have a variety again. I'm taking the Chanel Vitalumia Foundation um, as well as my L'Oreal True Match Foundation and then Makeup Forever HD Foundation. And then I have one more foundation, which is the MAC Studio Tech um, Cream Compact Foundation. If I show you, looks like that. I absolutely love this foundation. It's probably one of my favourites, so I'm taking that one as well. It's nice to have different foundations just because they all do different things and give you different looks and different finishes and stuff like that. As for powders, I'm going to be taking my MAC Studio Fix Powder. This is a full coverage powder. This one's in NC20. And then I'm also going to be taking my absolute favourite product in the world, my Holy Grail product, which is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is to set under my eyes, and then that is for all over. So I guess I'll just fit it there. And then I'm going to be taking uh, blushes, bronzers, and highlighters, of course. Now, I'm torn between three blushes i'm not sure i have this one which is from mac i mean they're all mac blushes this one is called blush baby this one is called gentle which has a shimmer to it and then this one is breath of plum i know i'm taking breath of plum because it's my favorite blusher ever and then i'm just not sure which ones to take because i like this because it has a bit of shimmer to it but then i like the tone of this one so but then i don't want to take three Oh guys, I don't know. I wish you were here to tell me. Um, I'm taking Blush Baby. For bronzers, I'm taking three. I'm taking my NARS Casino bronzer. And then I'm taking the Hoola bronzer by Benefit, which is almost finished. So I'm just going to use up the rest of it. And then, because those two are matte, I do like to use a um, bronzy, glowy kind of bronzer just to give my face a little bit of a glow and this one is from elf and this is the baked bronzer in maui now for highlighters i'm actually missing my mary luminizer so i do need to find that because i really have no idea where it went and i'm kind of worried because i really need it because it's my favorite highlighter but apart from that if i do find it i'll put the mary luminizer in here but other than that, I'm taking my Topshop highlighter, one of my favourites. This is in Crescent Moon, and it's just this gorgeous, I've already hit pan on it, this gorgeous iridescent pinky champagne highlighter. So I'm taking that. And then I'm taking the Sleek Solstice palette, I believe, is that what it's called? You can see it comes with a cream blush, um, not a cream blusher, a cream highlighter, and then three powdered highlighters here. 
so I'm taking that one and then like I said if I find my Mary Luminizer I'll pop that in there and as then well. I'm gonna try to fit in some concealers if I can um, let's see yeah I can fit them right there this may sound crazy but I'm taking four concealers with me I'm taking the Bare Minerals um, SPF 20 concealer it's just a pot concealer this is mainly to um, carve out my brows with I don't fill out my brows too often but when I do um, I'm gonna be taking this one so that fits there and then my favorite concealer in the whole entire world again another holy grail product is the LA girl pro concealer um, I'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere this is in the shade porcelain which is the lightest one they do and I absolutely love it as well as the bare minerals bare skin concealer in fair and then my Mac pro Longwear concealer in NC 20 the reason I'm bringing four different concealers is because they all give, again, a different coverage and a different sort of look to it. Some are brightening, some are for concealer. And that is it for face. Actually, looking at it, it doesn't look like I bring too much face products. So now we're going to move on to eyes and lips. And also to let you guys know, I've already packed my stuff like makeup remover and cotton pads and all that stuff. So moving on to eyes, I'm going to be taking one eye primer. There was another one that I was going to take. Again, I can't find it anywhere. Typical when you travel, you literally lose things like the day before. I don't know how, but I'm going to be taking my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot which is this one and then the one I wanted to take is a MAC paint stick in pure white so if I do any bold looks or colourful looks I have a white base but I can't find it so hopefully I can after this video and then also I'm thinking to take this Makeup Forever Aqua Cream base I just bought this um, I think last week was it last week and it looks like this I haven't used it yet it's just a champagne-y kind of almost rose gold um, eyeshadow base so I'm just going to take that with me as well just in case I don't find the pure white paint stick and this time I'm not going to go too crazy with eyeshadows I'm only bringing two palettes I'm bringing my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette oh my god it's got a mark what the hell so yeah bringing the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia and it looks like this um, you guys have seen it everywhere it just comes with neutral shades so I can just use these here or I can use the darker shades there so I have a lot to play around with and plus this palette has more burgundy and burnt orange shades which I absolutely love and then I'm going to be taking my Z palette this is the leopard Z palette I know it's so dirty don't look at it <laughs> but this is um, holding all of my well not all of the shades but just the ones that I have of the Makeup Geek eyeshadows so I just have a different variety so I'm going to be taking that as well because I've got some oranges and blues and golds so I think I'll be okay with just these two palettes I mean I um, don't need more eyeshadow than that okay guys don't kill me but I'm also going to be taking some little single eyeshadows as well I'm going to be taking the Colourpop um, Super Shock shadow in Liberty so I'm going to be taking this which is um, Liberty and then I'll show you the rest that I'm going to take so that one's that and then I'm also going to be taking Slave to Pink which is a gorgeous bright fuchsia pink if you haven't tried Colourpop eyeshadows you definitely have to they're only five dollars each and then I'm taking this one which is called Drift which is a rusty burgundy shade and then last but not least I'm going to be taking my Bare Minerals pigment in Queen Phyllis which is a light gold and then um, this one which I just picked up from MAC it is limited edition but this one is called 300 game is that the yeah that's the name 300 game and it's a matte and it is just a blackened cherry burgundy and then for shade. eyeliners I'm going to be taking a white eyeliner this is the MAC um, eyeliner pencil in fascinating so I'll just pop that there I'm also taking my NARS Rue Bonaparte um, nude eyeliner and then I'm going to be taking the Bare Minerals uh, Round the Clock Eyeliner in 9pm which is a dark brown and then for liquid eyeliner to do my winged liner I'm taking two of the Collection 2000 Extreme eyeliners which you guys know is my favourite so I'm just taking two of them in case one runs out and then I can't find it in New York because they don't sell Collection 2000 there. 
And then I'm just going to be bringing, just in case I do fill in my brows, because sometimes I do, the Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil in Dark Brown. So I'll just bring that. And then two mascaras only, the Makeup Forever um, Smoky Extravagant Lash. This is just a mini size, I believe. And then the L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Black. Um, mascara which is my favorite now I never wear lashes ever and I don't think I will in New York but it's just nice to bring some just in case it so I'm bringing these ones which are from amazing shine and these are the number three to six or 326 lashes they're wispy on the outer corners and then smaller in the inner corner and it's just really flared out and really natural looking. I don't really like big lashes, so I just picked out the most natural ones I could. I'm also taking these Eyelore um, lashes from Flared Forces line. Oh my god. Um, and then again, these are really tiny little wispy lashes. Again, they wisp out on the um, sides. I believe the style of these are called Petite Fleur or Fleur. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I'm taking those. And then last but not least, ooh. Last but not least for lashes, I'm taking the Morphe Individual Lashes. So it comes with small, medium and long. So just in case I want individual lashes instead. Because I do find that I like the look of individual lashes better. And then I'm just going to be taking a duo lash glue as well, which there's no point taking the box. I'll just take the glue out. And again, I'll pack tweezers and all that stuff in my um, brush bag. So that is all for so eyes. this is the clear little bag. Um, again, it attaches inside as well. So I'm not bringing too many lip products. I'm gonna start off with liquid lipsticks. I'm only bringing two. Um, and I'm bringing the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in Anna Nicole, which is a very gorgeous, almost bright orange. It's not so bright, it's like a deep orange. It may look bright on camera, but it's a little bit deeper. And then I'm taking the ColourPop liquid lipstick, which is like a bright fuchsia pink. And this one is in Sunday. Then for lipsticks, I'm only taking four. Um, and I'm taking Ruby Woo, which is a classic red. This is a matte finish. And that's that one. And then I'm taking the Smashbox lipstick, or Smashbox B Legendary lipstick. And this one is in Pretty Social. Um, my camera needs to focus. Here we go. It is such a pretty light pink or baby pink lipstick. I might take that on the plane with me actually. Then I'm going to be taking Snob from MAC, which is a purpley pink. And then I'm not too sure about this one, but this is Myth, which is just a nude. So I still might bring it anyway in case, you know, I've got my pinks, got my red, and then I might need a nude. So I'll probably bring that one as well. And that's it for lipsticks, not many. However, for lip glosses, I'm, I'm bringing a few so i'm bringing the mac lip gloss in um, signs of spring which is a peachy one that would go good with the nude lipstick i'm also bringing this smashbox kind of lip cream lip gloss and this one is called um this one is called flushed and it's just a baby pink and then i'm also taking this nars lip gloss in born this way this has a purple tint to it again it would go good with snob lipstick which is that purpley pink um, shade and then I'm also taking my favorite lip gloss from MAC ever it's only limited edition so I need to try and find some backups of it but this is girl on board and then I'm bringing the dose of colors lip gloss in petals which is a nice pink which would go nice with the uh, smashbox lipstick so I've kind of coordinated everything together I've got you know matching lip glosses and matching lipsticks just in case and that's really it for lipsticks and lip glosses although i am taking um, some lip liners as well i never line my lips just because i have full lips already and they don't need any more lining but you never know for example with the red lipstick i do need a red lip liner just to sharpen up the edges so for that i'm taking the sephora lip liner which is this one and then this is in the shade deep aubergine so taking a red lip liner and then I'm also going to be taking a bright pink for the bright liquid lipstick and then this is from MAC also they've actually discontinued this now which is a shame and this one is called embrace me so that is it for lipsticks and lip glosses
so if you guys like this video then please give it a thumbs up comment down below what you want to see next again i am going to be vlogging when i'm in new york so my next video would most likely be the new york vlog from when i'm back and also don't forget to follow me on instagram which is makeup by Sinem, and then snapchat which i am always on so if you want to see behind the scenes or if you want to see um me in New York and what I'm going to be snapping because I'm going to be snapping everything when I'm there then follow me on snapchat which is Sinem Does Makeup but I'll have all the links and description uh, down below other than that I will speak to you guys all in my next video